Uh, should still be able to should still be able to take that piece of wood. Give it another hit. All right, let's see if this will do it. Got to get enough speed up. There we go. Unconventional, what we got there. All right, let's get reconnected, and we'll head back to our logging area. Hey guys, welcome back to AF Farms, and welcome back to another episode of Silver Run Forest. So. Basically, we're doing a bit of a series reboot, a bit of a farewell series to this um, map uh, in relation to the new game being announced, so FS25 coming in November. So I thought I'm going to just uh, round out some of these Let's Plays that I've started and a bit of unfinished business on Silver Run Forest, in particular the roller coaster. So I was just cruising around the map before to see where we were at with the build and the various productions and things that I've got going on. So it has been a few months since I've been on this map, but we're in a pretty good position to finish the roller coaster. Um, over to here, we've got the boat, the sail boat ready to go. So I've just got to get some fabric in there to make that sail. Um, but this is the first boat ready to launch, probably tomorrow being next month. Uh, I've got all the production chains cranking. So I've got a whole bunch of loose materials sitting around here, barrels, buckets. Prefab walls, buckets blocking the road. Uh, what do we got? Planks. What is this? Planks long? No, regular planks. Steel. I think this is floor tiles. We did have some shingles here. This might be a table. Yep, so we've got, we've pretty much got everything, pretty much everything on the go. So let's have a look at the production chains menu. So if you're not familiar with this map, it's the Platinum Expansion, Silver on Forest. So this is like the year one DLC map, I believe. So Lonka would have been the year two map DLC. A little bit of a little bit of an older map now, but still still up there in playability in my opinion. But anyway, getting back on track. So we've got the barrel factory, furniture factory. So I've got everything out of space currently. I haven't got every production running because I'm just focusing on what's required for the roller coaster. Uh, I've got a new sawmill so I put that in in a prior episode. So it's the Sawmill Wood Miser LT15. And we've got this guy here so he's actually out of wood. So let's have a look at our vehicles. Okay so we've got the Rotney H21D. So my standard tree harvester of choice, base game equipment. Now, I'll quickly explain this logging situation if you're not familiar. So obviously Silver Run Forest, if we just look at the, the big map, just for context, is a forest. Okay, so we can basically cut down all the trees on this, this map. It's a forestry focused map. Okay, however, I decided that I was going to go down the plantation route. And what I mean by that is I've planted lodgepole pines in this configuration. So tightly, tightly packed together and put them into these bunker setups. So I've done heaps of videos on these um, for ease of loading, etc. So these are 12 mil lengths with a 36 meter fully grown tree. So I get four roughly sized, the same size segments. Some are shorter, some are a little bit longer. Just depends on how accurate my cutting is. And then we use the lizard timber, which is, where is it? Log fork grapple thing here. It's a mod to come in and scoop up those logs and then load them onto a logging trailer so i've got i can't remember this is the might be the lizard tlx logger we'll have a look at that in a second but i've set this up like a road train okay so when i drive up to the old sawmill which is up the top of the map uh, we can deliver more logs uh, quickly essentially okay this is the the second sawmill so this is one you can place down so we've got heaps of planks prefab walls um all that sort of stuff over here We've got the steel mill and the iron ore factory, for lack of a better word. So basically this will just produce iron ore. And then I've got it conveyed directly into the metal factory okay, to make the steel rolls. Now the other one is located on the map up here. So if we go up this way and visit it. So the mine shaft's on the map. This is where you would normally come to get the iron ore. Then you've got to cart it back to the wherever your steel mill is. And you've got to place the steel mill down. So rather than do that, I decided that I was going to combine the two together just to make it a bit more efficient. Uh, the other thing here is we've got spinnery to create fabric. So we're doing cotton. So cotton field is over here. So yeah, cotton field here. This is for our sailboat to create the, the sail. 
Um, what else we got? Okay, pushing our logs in. So this is the this is some fabric ready to go in. Let's have a look at the boat. So the boat needs 1,600 litres of fabric for the next production step. So I believe if we put that in, and then tomorrow, so next month, this will develop its sail. And then at, I think it's like 2 p.m. or 3 p.m., it will launch into the water. And then you get paid like 300 grand for it. So it should be a good little payday at least. All right, uh, what else we got? Lizard T-Rex 600, so that's to get rid of the tree stumps. Pretty standard. Done another video on that if you haven't seen. That's a mod. Uh, what have we got? The barrel factory. I've got forklifts everywhere to help move the product around, so that's why I've got so many of these guys. Bit of a staging area for the roller coaster materials. So if we have a look at the roller coaster, so we're out of chairs, so we'll have to go fetch some from the chair factory. I mean, I'm not sure if that's what it's called, but wherever the chairs come from. Uh, what else we got? Uh, this looks to be the flooring factory. Okay, cool. Uh, this is the shingle factory. This is the chair and table factory, I'm pretty sure. So we've got a ton of tables sitting there ready to go. Uh, I've been using this guy. So this is the print off lit with AgriPower. So it's actually a silage leveler. But I've been using that to push product around, so I'll give you a quick demo of that. So like these pallets, when I auto load them with the particular trailer I'm using, you can't unload onto this graveled area here for some reason, because we don't own it. But in the common areas like the roads and other land, uh, you can unload the, the barrels and what have you. So rather than load it up on a trailer with a um, forklift, basically use the auto loading function, drop these guys off on the road, and then just sort of push them over to the side. That's why they're kind of commingled and not really well organized. And there's a prefab wall just sitting in the middle of the road here. So we'll get that moved. Um, and it just sort of makes life a bit easier. So if we push this into the cell point, so we'll get some money for that. And we've got the inventory there. So if you're not familiar with what the roller coaster build is, it's basically a building project. So it'll ask you for a bunch of materials. You deliver the materials to this point. It'll put them into storage uh, or it will. So we've got storage there and it'll use what's on hand required to make the next step of the production. So basically, I'm not sure of the exact stages, but one way to tell is when all these letters line up, so I've got roller coaster spelt out. So that, I don't know how much further I've got to go. I don't think it's that far. Uh, it basically does it in two stages. So if you check the Giants website, it'll have a bit more of an in-depth look at how to do all that stuff. But yeah, that's pretty much that's pretty much a quick download of where we're at. So let's jump into where is it? This guy here, and we'll go and do a run up to the old sawmill with our road train so I'll throw on a time lapse and we'll enjoy the drive up to the sawmill so I'll see you up there cue the music Jesse was born on a winter's night in the middle of a storm the road was blocked so Jesse was born in this old house raised on love in those sunny years when there was magic in the world her laughter traveled well all right, here we are at the old sawmill. So basically what we need to do here is, I can't remember how I used to do this, to be honest. Kind of drive in a little bit like that. Might've been better if I come from the other way, to be honest. Um, let's undo these tension belts. Hopefully I don't jackknife this. This could be a disaster waiting to happen. But these logs should basically unload, which it looks like they are. So see if the next one goes. Yep, so you can see them you can see them basically get loaded so they look different obviously okay they're not the same as when they were on this trailer but it'll basically take them as as required so i think we're either we might be full here let's have a look so if i go over to the production so what have we got out of space okay so it's receiving the wood so it's just my parking job that's terrible here so let's try this again now I'm using a modified truck here, so this is a 1600 horsepower or something like that to make this job just a little bit easier. Because obviously it's quite heavy to move these logs around. So let's do a U-turn. Now I did have a I did have another the Volvo high lift up here for this purpose. But I figured we'd be okay. But I might have to might have to bring it back up so let's go for a wide turn this time 
because you don't want to drive in too deeply either. That's the other issue. Oop, don't roll it. Okay, we should be okay now. I did have a single trail set up and um, it worked pretty well, so I may have to return to that, to be honest. This is a little bit problematic. Okay, they're going to be going in. Hmm, what I might have to do. Unconventional, but give this a bit of a nudge, so just to get the back end around. Might have hit it with a bit more speed, so let's get a run up. It does appear to be off offloading, so that is definitely helping. Okay, is that going to get the next one? Let's try one more time. Okay, plan B. So I'm just going to try and push that push that trailer in a little bit further. Now, come to think of it, I don't know if I tested this setup prior to rebooting this se season. Okay, is that going to be close enough? So we may just have to go back to one trailer. Or I could grab the high lift. One more time. Is that got it? Oh yeah. Problem solving on the fly. Okay, I think that'll do it. I'm going to turn around so I can get a bit more speed up. Alright, full steam ahead. There we go, that's got it. Now that should get that should get all of them, so let's get reconnected because I think that's gonna load up, no problem. Actually, let's just check how much wood we've actually put through. So that was 46,000 litres, maybe 48, once we get the other one in. Oh, it doesn't want to take that last one. Let's see if we can't give it some gentle persu gentle persuasion. I mean it can't be full, can it? Yeah, it should still be able to it should still be able to take that piece of wood. Give it another hit. Alright, let's see if this will do it. Got to get enough speed up. There we go. Unconventional, what we got there. Alright, let's get reconnected. And we'll head back to our logging area. Alright, I'm going to drive this guy back. And uh, we'll continue the time lapse. So, cue the music. Alright, here we are back at the main farm, so let's get this parked up. Next job is going to be get, get that some of that uh, fabric. So let's go and park up just here for now. So let's cruise on back to this guy here. So we've got a pallet of fabric sitting on the side of the road, so we'll go and grab that. And put it in. So I think we need probably at least another two. Okay, one there. So 1,500, 1,600 litres, so we got what nearly a thousand in stock. Now we did just finished up a cotton harvest, so we've got that as well. So I will get another run of cotton underway shortly. But what I want to do now is so I'll leave that there and grab this guy. So this is the auto, one of the auto loading trailers for console. So let's jump in this, head over to our spinnery, and we'll get loaded up. So I'll see you over there. All right, here we are at the spinnery. So let's try and load up as much of this as we can. So this is auto. This is a pretty reliable auto loading trailer. So it is the this is a logistics big bag trailer. So if you're playing on console, definitely check this one out. So it'll load up pretty much all the base game stuff uh, pretty reliably. It's a good idea to use a tractor with it. I mean, the car does work, but it's just, it's not as... doesn't seem to be as good. All right, let's get the rest of this stuff loaded. It can be a little bit temperamental to try and get the loading trigger sometimes. And the other problem too is the wheel sticks, the back wheels stick out wider than trailers, so when you try and reverse, you can basically bump into stuff. Okay, that's that there. Once you get the hang of it, you'll be pretty quick. So I think if you go that back back third of the trailer, sort of just over the top of the goods that you want to load, yeah, there we go. It tends to load up pretty reliably. So yeah, we're getting that pallet there. Okay, so we'll grab all these. Okay, while we're here, I just want to quickly check the production point. Too many pallets. So I think we've got, yeah, so our storage area, which is basically that crosshat, cross-hatched area we were looking at with the yellow and black corner tape. So that there is full. So once we get this batch underway, we should be sweet. Okay, grab this lot. And you can see we just got a whole bunch just spawn in, so hopefully we can pick that up too without driving over the top of it. Okay, I'm just going to pull forward 
and then once we go past it yeah we should be picking it up all right let's go back and grab these other two now if you want to get fabric you can also use uh, cash, uh, what are they, sheep sheep to get wool so i've chose to go cotton for this one however you could do wool get the same result okay so we are very heavy here so i'm gonna to have to switch to a tractor i think okay yep i'm not gonna waste my time so let's disconnect i'll go grab the genesis this guy here all right let's head on over and get connected and then we'll head over to the uh, boat factory so i'll see you over there all right here we are so let's hook up so you can see what i was talking about the tractor it's got the proper height hitch um, and the weight doesn't is not an issue so it's just that the car is a bit quicker and for some items this doesn't auto load so i've got another auto loading trailer that i use as well so it's uh over near the roller coaster so i use that for prefab walls and stuff like that whereas this should if we drive over this overloading point it should basically get this guy moved out of the way first this guy here should when we drive over it start to offload the fabric so let's see if that happens now from memory this may or may not work okay so what we're going to do instead is basically come out to here hit unload and then it basically puts our fabric down like that and then we grab our trusty forklift and basically just push it into the cell point so what i'll do is i'll throw throw on a time lapse i'll get this stuff loaded into the the boat shed and then we'll go from there cue the music there we go so okay we've got a nice little stack of fabric there so basically as this gets used and consumed this should automatically refill because it's in uh, range of the trigger point all right um i reckon we are due to sleep so one thing i will do is we'll go back to the roller coaster quickly where is the roller coaster and we'll just double check what we need so we need some chairs so i've got to go source some chairs all right where are, where are the chairs at so chairs are at furniture factory okay so let's grab our this guy here so let's head over to the furniture factory grab a load of chairs um, and then we'll come back down to the roller coaster load that up and then we'll top up the other capacity required for the roller coaster so i'll see you over at the furniture furniture factory all right here we are at the furniture factory we've got a whole bunch of tables sitting here so too many pallets all right now I'm hoping, let's just double check that the production for chairs is actually turned on because I could probably, t I could probably afford to turn tables off. So where are we? Okay, let's turn tables off for the moment. So basically this will ensure, hopefully, that whatever spawns next is going to be chairs. So if I push these guys out of the road, so I'll just make a bit of a, make a bit of a pile here. Now normally I'd stack these a little bit more neatly, but in the interest of time, don't go off road too much. Okay, so we've got more tables for some reason. Let's have a look. Now these could have been tables that were uh, basically in storage. Now basically the one thing I will mention is the way I did the timber storage, so the plantation set up, is basically because these productions are so wood thirsty, okay, thirsty for wood, pun intended, um, because they need such a high volume of wood, having everything sort of centrally located in a logging area, so like a plantation style, just makes it way way easier to keep up with the production so now yeah, hopefully we get some chairs come out here because i could be hitting the pallet limit there are too many pallets okay i've got a feeling that i've hit the 50 pallet limit so what i'm gonna have to do is i'm gonna have to turn off all the productions that are not required so turn that off turn that off turn that off turn all this off okay turn that off turn that off turn that off turn that off because basically what happens whenever you spawn a pallet that contributes to your pallet limit okay barrels buckets turn that off so i'm gonna have to and especially on console because you've only got a 50 pallet limit which is a little bit painful and because the uh 
productions are so pallet heavy if you have too many pallets in play you're not going to be able to spawn any new ones so let's see if one once i put one in here if it'll spawn so it might spawn did it actually load up yeah we got one okay let me just double check that out of space okay so we've got 10,000 liters of chairs sitting sitting there ready to go so i basically i'm just gonna have to manage the inventory until we oh so there's more tables don't tell me it's gonna oh, it's gonna drop three for three thousand more liters of tables before i can before i can do anything all right what i'll do is i'll sort this out um and then we'll come back in with the next episode hopefully we've got some chairs ready to go so thanks very much for watching really appreciate it don't forget to check out the channel membership if you want to support the channel with a small monthly membership fee um, just gives you early access to videos, priority reply and current comments currently. Otherwise, thanks again for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now. Do you ever feel you don't get out what you're putting in? All your hopes and efforts are all in vain.